you're looking for a fun and safe way to celebrate Halloween, head on over to Child Protects Trunk or Treat event. Joining us now in studio is Jordan Brooks. Jordan, tell us all about this year's event. So this is our first time throwing this event this year. It's kind of more of like an awareness event. It's free to the public, so anybody can come. We're going to have a trunk or treat. Um, it'll be about seven or six. We have six sponsors that are going to be coming um, that will participate with us, and they will be giving out candy with us. We'll also have hot dogs. We're going to have snow cones. Um, but we really just want to like give an opportunity for the families that we see and the clients that come there to kind of come back with like a a lighter, more fun experience than maybe when they came here originally um, and just be festive and kick off the season because we all like Halloween also. So we just kind of wanted to have something for Halloween and do something for the families that we've seen this year. For families who've never been involved in Child Protect, is this an event for them? Can they come out and support you all as well? Definitely. We want everyone to come because we want to invite everyone to learn kind of about us and see like what we do and who we are. And especially, like I said, the families that we have seen, they can kind of come back and have like a different experience, than they, did. experience. Yeah, than they did the first time and but everybody's welcome we've been um, putting it out everywhere we stopped by a couple of schools so we've been kind of like telling everyone so we hope that we will get a good um, output but like I said it's our first year so we're just excited and whatever happens we'll be happy with it but we're excited why is it important there. to educate those other families who may have never been in contact with you all never heard of child protect why is it important for them to know about you and your mission sure so we offer forensic interviews for children when there's been allegations of abuse and that can be child abuse neglect sexual abuse whatever the case may be, um, and they'll come there and get their forensic interview. We also offer counseling, so I think that's important to know. Um, they are free of services, and they are not limited to um, just the families that we've seen there, so that's also kind of open to everyone if someone is interested in that service. Um, but for the forensic interviews, it's kind of important. I feel like maybe people don't understand the process of how things should go, um, and it is important when children have witnessed something or been through something traumatic that they have a chance to like disclose that in a safe comfortable area and also they don't have to continue talking about that you know once they have their forensic interview with us law enforcement DHR whoever needs to see the interview they can just see it from that recording it doesn't have to be that the child is reliving that trauma over and over so that's really important and if there is ever a time where there's an allegation or possibility that you think that someone's being abused, you can always report it and we can always, you know, if law enforcement feels they need to do it or DHR feels we need one, they can always bring the child in. It's always better safe than sorry and we can kind of eliminate if anything did happen or didn't and go from there. But it is an important step and it can kind of help set the stage for like the recovery of the trauma going forward. So and you said this is your first time hosting this event. Yes. So you're hoping for a big crowd. Give folks the date, time, and location, and how can they can come out and just have a good time. So it starts at 4.30. It's from 4.30 to 6.30. It's going to be at Child Protect. Our address is 935 South Perry Street. And, yeah, we'll have lots of candy and lots of snacks, so we hope to see everyone there. And that's Thursday, October 26th. Candy, snacks, she said a little bit of food. Snow cones. Even a snow cone. Yeah. All kids love a good snow cone, so yeah. it sounds like it's going to be a Tasty good time. Yeah. Jordan, thanks so much for joining us here on thanks Alabama Live. We appreciate it.